the leg tapers from an inch and a half at the bottom to an inch and a quarter at the top. So I'm going to set this for just under a quarter so that when I do that, you know, the extra thickness of the pencil gets me pretty close to a quarter inch. So that goes like that, so I'll draw a line there. So I'm going to do that on each of these, and then uh, once I have tapered that, I'm going to uh, come in an eighth of an inch on either side here and bring the width in a quarter total at the top. I think I want to taper that first, so I'm going to go ahead and mark all, mark all those. I cut, uh, cut these rough on the bandsaw, and now I'm going to clamp them in here. Now, at this end, because I'm clamping a, uh, an angled surface, it's just going to lift this up. So I, a while ago, I created one of my dogs where I put a uh, brass piece on here with a, uh, a bevel point on it. So I'm going to put that there, and that should hold that. It'll put a little small divot in there, but that's the underside of the leg, so no one's going to see that. So I'll start with my uh, number five. Um, I'll be checking for a square here, make sure I'm keeping, uh, keeping the square to the edge. And, uh, and then I'll finish, once I'm really close, I'll finish with my, uh, my number four. Okay, I'm getting pretty close. I've, I've got pencil lines down here and they're almost gone. Um, about a half an inch left. So I'm going to switch to the smoothing plane. Make sure I'm staying square here. It looks good. A little bit, a little bit out of whack. A little high on this right side. This myrtle really planes nicely. Okay, his lines are almost gone. And uh, my pencil line is just about gone here. So just a couple more passes here and I think I'll be good. All right, next up, with the kids playing in their blow-up pool next door, I'm going to set that to an eighth. I want to take an eighth of an inch off each side. I'm going to do the same. Same thing. Now that eighth inch is going to be tough to cut off on the bandsaw. It's such a small amount, so I'm not sure. I'm still going to give it a go, but I'm probably not going to get very far before the uh, blade dro drops out the side of the part. Okay, I just uh, ripped these on the bandsaw. I'll go ahead and put my pencil lines on here again. and uh, bring those down until the lines go away. Now on this one, you know, I don't really have a very flat reference since that's a ripped, uh, ripped surface on the bandsaw, so I'm going to get this somewhat flat and then turn it over and do the other side. Much 
better reference there now. Otherwise, I think I was afraid this is going to be flexing a little bit. The legs are tapered, and uh, the top has been sanded and uh, all rounded over, but I want to round over the legs before I do the glue up. The stretchers will have to wait because uh, the edges get it rounded over, you know, stopped and started. So I'll do this, and then next up we'll do the, uh, the glue up. 